So let's take a look at how to use SEMrush for analyzing competitor ad copy. Specifically, we're talking about Google Ads copy. And basically, the way I like to do this is starting with a quick Google search. So let's say um, we're going to do marketing for a roofing company in Phoenix, Arizona. Basically, type that into Google, and then you should see some sponsored results showing up. If you don't, that might mean that ads aren't really running on the keyword that you're trying to advertise for so you might just switch the keywords up a little bit here until you find a couple of companies that are advertising and then all you need to do is take the URL that you see in the ad right here copy that come over to SEMrush if you don't already have an account to SEMrush I'll leave a link down below where you can get signed up for a free trial and use all these different features but essentially once you're signed in you just paste the URL up here in the top click search and then it's going to show us an overview. In the top here, you'll see this paid search traffic. There's also keywords down here. It's kind of small. Uh, but anything in blue, you can click to kind of expand things. So if you click on this, it's going to actually take you to this page right here, where it's going to show all the different keywords that people are advertising for, how much they're spending on the uh, traffic, how much traffic they're getting, the number of keywords. Etc. Etc. You can play around with this map, look at different things. Uh, but then on, on these tabs up here, if you click over to add copies, then we'll be able to analyze all of the ad copies that are being used on Google Ads by this company, right? And we can filter things down. So if, like, sometimes there's hundreds or thousands of ads. This one only has 18, so it's actually pretty easy to see everything that they're doing here. But if they had tons and tons and tons of um, ad copy, different variations of ad copy, then we could filter down by, let's say we want to look for stuff that talks about metal roofing. So they're talking about metal re-roofing, which is like coming in, tearing off the old roof, putting a new roof on. They're talking about quality guarantee, how they have 40 years of experience, fast and simple home improvement loans offered through Acorn Finance, roofing with integrity, is our code, wide selection financing offered. So we're starting to get a sense of what they're saying when they're advertising for their metal roofing, but maybe we want to look at something else, like shingle repair, right? You can keep sorting through these. You can also use these feature or uh, filters to um, filter through URLs, product titles, descriptions, and then you can go with exact match, word match, etc. Uh, so that will help you filter down to find the ad copy that you're looking for. And then, of course, you can export this into an Excel file, which I find quite helpful because then it's going to give you all of the headlines and descriptions and URLs and everything for all the ads. And then there's also keywords down here. So we'll be able to see roofers in my area as they're showing this ad for that keyword. This is probably going to be metal roof for house. So this is the metal roof ad. And then we can continue to analyze these and figure out what ad copy they're using to advertise on specific keywords. Of course, the whole idea here is to figure out what's already working and reverse engineer what's working and use it for your own benefit right and really if somebody is spending lots of money on Google Ads like nine thousand dollars a month and they've been doing it for quite a while then you can you can be confident that they're having somewhat of a good experience or else they wouldn't just keep spending nine thousand dollars a month every month forever and with this company it looks like they've been doing this for quite a while now since September of 2023 uh, but they did cut it back significantly in March and then just pick back up in April. So, you know, ultimately you'd want to find somebody that's been running ads for like five, six years, spending thousands or hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands, however much. Lots of money for a long time. If they're doing that, then you know that they're having some success and then you can start modeling what they're doing. Of course, you don't want to just copy what they're doing because then it's gonna, people are going to be blind. Every company looks the same, then nobody's going to stand out. So you still want to stand out from the crowd. 
But at the same time, you don't want to start from scratch and try to reinvent the wheel if somebody else has already figured out what works in a specific niche, right? So I hope you found that helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out and just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to set up an SEO friendly business name right from the get go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> the best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.